If you want it, don't sweat it, homie, go get it If you're trying and it gets you down, don't let it Take it from me, man, I've been around, don't sweat it It's all better when you go from this If I want something, I'ma go get it At first it'd be all struggle, then it's all credit See, back in the day, getting on was mad hectic Looking for my start in hip-hop like Cedar and Sedwick I knew I loved music, ideas sparked the fuse lit I had talent and knew it, but had yet to prove it, yo I ran the ciphers and Hey, this is King JB with the MMA Kingdom here with Donna Hoover, matchmaker for the LFC. What's up, man? How you doing? Doing real good. First thing I want to say, we got a big event coming up, LFC 47. Uh, you, you put some matches together. Right. Well, how do you think it's going to go? Uh, I, mean, it's more I think it's going to look great. I got uh, 10 amateur fights, one title fights on the card. I uh, lost a few fights due to some injuries. A couple people can get some physicals taken together. Um, chicken sales is looking pretty good, so hopefully it's going to turn out pretty well. Pretty good. Uh, definitely, uh, first thing I want to ask you, when are you stepping back in the cage, bro? Well, uh, like I put on Facebook, I'm working on that hopefully by the end of this year, if I get my weight down right. Um, in the mid-70s right now, hopefully I get down to the 50s, maybe 45, I don't know. Maybe just a little bag and Scott Sam on my do something. Maybe so, maybe not. But we'll see. Hopefully, my One of the things, time. see, this is what Hoover fucks up. He talks about, listen, Kingdom, he talks about the super fucking old. You know, half on it, hard on it, you know. Hey, but anyway, let me ask you this. Mr. Scott Douglas has challenged you. What about it? My question is, are you going to sign on the dollar one? Who's going to pay for it? I don't know. He can eat a dick. I'll pay you, I'll pay you. I'll do it for free. 100, 100. Hunter, Hunter. Because the YouTube video where Hoover handed over his belt okay. is out there. Explain that, Hoover. Uh, we went to uh, a little bullshit ass show in Fort Wayne. I had to pay for his ticket to get in the show for one. Then he was like, uh, why don't you uh, bring me up in the cage and call me out since he came all the way to supposedly call me out. Could it happen, so I gave it to him, told him this is what he would get. I gave him the belt, he rolled out, we go to do the show June 12th for Iron Cage Blast. He gets paid, you know, a bunch of money from the promoters. I get no money to pass money. We're supposedly the main event, and how do you take the main event to the third fight? All jokes aside, Kingdom, here's, here's what I want to say. First of all, when I mention Scott Levins, everybody that's involved with the LFC ran to the other side of the room. That's how bad it is right now for Scott Levins. So I gotta say this. Um, Hoover, is he worth your time right now? No, but I like to make a stink out a little bit, just like many other people would. It's not worth anything to anybody. The guy's 0 17. He's got like. 16 fights in like five minutes of case time. Well, I'm gonna ask you this just for the for the purpose, you know, for the purpose of uh, you know, a lot of internet fans want to know the belt that you put that you actually put on the line. Where did it come from? From uh, Proven Grounds with uh, Tim Phillips and uh, Jamal Thomas. There you go. So. You know, obviously right now, Donald Hoover, he's, it's not that he's fighting right now. He's actually a, a hell of a matchmaker. Everybody's seen LFC. So Hoover, just for the fans, the game finally works. Uh, just pay attention. Next show is August uh, 16th, I believe, at LFC. So uh, hit me on Facebook, check that one too. And, uh, it's kind of like the first time to see Right, that's right. And for the record, this is my partial co-host on MMA Affiliates Radio. Y'all heard him before. Y'all can hear him again. Um, this guy on Facebook right now, his name is Kevin Hernandez. I don't know if you've noticed it. He's been doing a lot of shit everywhere. Uh, also, he's actually on uh, Fuck Hoover and Fuck Scott Levin's movie. My question to you is, is, is this worth responding to? It's going to be when I get to the house. He's putting a lot of things. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, one, of, uh, one of this city's best writers, um, i trying to think of his name, actually, at the moment. I'm being a bad journalist right now because I drank. He put a, a, a YouTube video, Chris Price, yep. put a YouTube video out saying that he you... Never, he never you been in my gym, I did this, I did that, but if I go to YouTube and you look under Urban Combat City, you can see him uh, teaching uh, arm bars and triangles at my gym on 31. Well, he said that you created a, a MySpace page mm -hmm. um, in order to actually imitate him. Right. He said that you created a MySpace page as Chris Price. My question to you is, is that true? No, it's a little bullshit. It came out of this camp. Nobody has a camp like me. Uh, I was a tall guy for that, so it's not a big deal. Some shit happened. Uh, some fights went down. Supposedly, it was stated that I beat up like six people. Completely false. It was bullshit. He was in the story about the mix, too, so there's a false. So 
Coach Chris Price the wire? Pretty much. I didn't make shit about it, so. Anyway. MMA Kingdom, you, you, heard, you heard it here. What? I didn't make the video. You heard it here. Bottom line, he says Chris Price is a liar. Me personally, I'd like to talk to Chris Price. Bottom line, MMA Kingdom, this was Donald Hoover. We out of here. See ya. Yeah.